Welcome to Movie Caps. Today, I will show you an action thriller from 2017, titled, The Fate of the Furious. Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. While celebrating his honeymoon in Havana, Cuba, Dom Toretto is informed that his cousin Fernando, has gotten into a fight with a local loan shark, Raldo, after owing him money. Dom arrives at the spot, and challenges him to compete with him in a race. The race begins, and Raldo manages to get the initial lead, while asking his friends to interrupt Dom's way, but Dom makes a comeback, and defeats him with a close margin. After losing the race, he comes over and hands over the keys to Dom, to keep his end of the deal, but Dom refuses to take it, by saying he only cares about the game. While coming back to his apartment in the morning, Dom comes across a woman named Cypher, and helps her with her broken car. As he talks to her while checking the car, she reveals she knows about him, and intentionally messed with the car just to interact with him. She offers him a job, which he refuses initially, but gives in, as she blackmails him by showing a video on her phone. A secret agent, Eric Reisner, meets diplomatic secret service agent Luke Hobbs, and requests his help in stealing an EMP device, from an outpost in Berlin. The team including Luke Hobbs himself, Roman Pierce, Tej Parker, Ramsey, Letty, and Dom, succeed in getting the device, but Dom deceives his team and steals it for Cypher, while running Luke's car down the road. Luke informs his team about it, and advises them to go back to their safe place, while he gets arrested by the police. The team gets back to the safe house, where they track Dom's phone, and find out he has been having secret conversations with someone. They think he has switched sides, but Letty does not believe it, and argues with her team for doubting his intentions. Luke is taken to the prison, where the official Mr. Nobody, along with his boss, Eric, meet him, and offer freedom if he confesses his crimes, but he rejects the offer. Luke spots Deckard Shaw in prison, and both get into an argument, due to their long last rivalry. Dom gets back to Cypher in her secret plane, where she shows her collection of weapons, and reveals she kept an eye on him in Cuba. She disagrees with his approach during the race with Raldo, saying he shouldn't have returned the car, but Dom tells he has made a friend in him by doing this. Meanwhile, Luke and Deckard Shaw break out of the prison, after tricking the security guards, and fighting their way out. Luke is taken back to a secret facility, where his team has already arrived for a meeting. They are informed about Cypher, a cyber terrorist, who is on Interpol's top 10 most wanted list. Cypher is a genius, who can hack into any system, but her identity cannot be found, as she keeps on changing it after every 10 seconds. Letty thinks she is not important for their mission, but gets shocked to know that Dom is now working for her, and has delivered EMP to her. Mr. Nobody briefs them, that they cannot let Cypher have the EMP, as she can use it to create a war zone in any part of the world she wants, and they must get it back from her. As they plan to track down her and Dom, they are introduced with another team member Deckard Shaw, who reveals Cypher initially approached his brother Owen Shaw, to steal Nightshade's device, and interfered with Ramsey's software program God's Eye. Although they don't want to include him in the team, and argue with Eric, Shaw tells he wants to take revenge, as Cypher used his brother and then left him to rot in jail. Both parties unwillingly agree to work together, and start tracking down Dom's location, which they narrow down to their building, right before being attacked by him and Cypher, who steal the god's eye. As they try to find out a solution, Luke says, Brian would know how to deal with the situation, but Letty reminds him, that they decided not to involve him in any more dangerous activities. After coming back to the plane, Dom argues with Cypher, and expresses his frustration over working with her, but she takes him to a room, where she has held Dom's ex-lover Elena, along with her son, whom Dom did not know about. Elena shows him his son, and tells him she has given him the middle name Marcus, but Dom has to decide his first name. Dom gets emotional to see his son for the first time, but their conversation is interrupted by Cypher, who threatens to kill Marcus, if Dom refuses to work for her. Dom gets frustrated, but decides to be on her side, as he has no other way to save Elena and Marcus. Deckard finds out Dom is headed to New York, and the team decides to go after him, while remaining hidden from Cypher's radar. Mr. Nobody takes them to a secret place with a collection of cars, telling them that they have retrieved them from drug dealers. Although Roman and Tej get excited to see the collection, he asks them to pick ones that cannot be spotted by Dom. Before going on Cypher's next mission, to steal a nuclear football from the Russian Minister of Information, Dom tampers with his car, and takes it to a narrow alley, telling Cypher that he needs to check its engine. He manages to dodge her security system with Raldo's help, and goes to a restaurant, to meet Owen, and Deckard's mother Magdalene. As Cypher tries to get a clear visual to track him down, he makes a deal with Magdalene, 
and requests her help to rescue his son from Cypher. Meanwhile, she finds the minister's location, and sends it to Dom, asking him to attack the convoy. Cypher creates an emergency, by hacking into the system of the cars, and using the auto-drive function to block the minister's car. Dom comes over, and gets the case, after threatening to blow up the car, but finds out his team has already arrived at the location. They start chasing him, and try to stop him from taking the case. Dom gets it after shooting Deckard, but Letty snatches it from him, and runs away. Dom chases her, and fires a gunshot, but she knows he loves her, and won't hurt her. As they talk, Cypher's assistant Rhodes intervenes, and intends to shoot her, but Dom stops him, and forces Letty to let go of the case. The team gathers up, where Mr. Nobody tells them that Cypher has gotten the EMP, and the nuclear football, so she can nuke any place in the world. Dom comes back to Cypher, but she expresses her disappointment with him, as he did not shoot Letty. To teach him a lesson, she ties up Elena, and holds Marcus, threatening Dom to hurt them. She says Dom made his decision to let Letty go, and now has to face consequences, so she orders Rhodes to shoot Elena, and threatens to kill Marcos if he makes the same mistake again. After watching footage from the alley, Letty recognizes Rhodes, and tells the team that she met him while she was working with Shaw's brother, where he came over asking them to steal the nightshade device. She reveals he also hired another guy, Jacondo Muse, to steal God's eye from the team. Cypher realizes Dom is devastated by Elena's murder, and tells it came as a repercussion, as he destroyed two of her teams earlier. She also reminds him, that he did not know about his kid before joining her, so he should be thankful to her, and comply with her orders. She tells him, that she now owns the EMP and the nuclear football, which she is planning to use to nuke a city, and showcase her supremacy to superpowers. As the team discusses the situation, Eric shows up again, and tells them about an old Russian naval base, now taken over by a separatist group. He tells them that Cypher is planning to raid the base, to get her hands on an old Russian submarine. He reveals it will give her immense power, which she can misuse to start World War III, so they must team up together, to save the world from her horrible plans. The team arrives in Russia, and keeps an eye on the base, to find out if Dom has shown up or not. He soon arrives, and uses the EMP to take down the power and defense systems of the base. Cypher orders him to disable the nuclear submarine as well, so she can hijack it, and use it for her purpose. Letty and Ramsey get to the control room, and disable Cypher's hacking attempts, while Tej and Roman decide to get inside the weapons storage, to disable nuclear activation. As they move to the base, Cypher asks Dom to rush to a safe place, where she will hand over his son. In the control room, Ramsey disconnects the remote link to the submarine, but Cypher reactivates it, and restarts the submarine. Meanwhile, the control room is attacked by guards, but Letty takes them down. Tej enters the weapons room, but Cypher closes the door and locks him inside, while continuing her digital battle with Ramsey, as both try to control the submarine. Cypher finally plans to launch the nuclear missile, and starts the countdown to the activation, but Mr. Nobody disables the chip right in time. After successfully deactivating the missile, Luke orders the team to guard the sea gate, to prevent the submarine from going into deep waters. The team agrees with Luke's plan, and starts driving, but is attacked by the Separatists. Roman asks about the nuclear missile, but is informed that they are useless without the chip they just deactivated. Meanwhile, Deckard Shaw, who had faked his death and joined his brother Owen, intrudes on the plan to rescue Dom's son Marcus. It is revealed Dom made a deal with their mother, who assured her help, and Dom handed over a tracking device, which they used to track Cypher down. Cypher orders Rhodes to take Dom's team down. She sends the security team to take them down, but Deckard manages to defeat them, and rescue Marcus, while Owen takes control of the plane. Dom receives a call from Deckard, who informs him about his successful mission. After finding out about Marcos's safety, Dom attacks and kills Rhodes, as revenge for Elena's execution. He then calls Cypher to inform her about Rhodes's death, and rejoins his team. Enraged, Cypher decides to fire an infrared homing missile at the group, but Dom shocks everyone, by using his car's flare to lure the missile back to the submarine. Although the submarine gets destroyed, the explosions hit Dom's car as well, but he jumps out and his team surrounds him to save him from the fire. Shaw arrives in Cypher's room, and confronts her, but she jumps out of the plane, while he rushes to save Marcos right in time. Letty returns to Dom, who assures her he can never let his family down. They hug each other, while the team finally has a sigh of relief after completing its mission. In the end, the team celebrates its victory in New York, where they are visited by Mr. Nobody and his boss, who tells Luke, 
that all charges against him are lifted, and he can join his force back, but he refuses the offer to spend time with his daughter. Deckard safely returns Marcus to Dom, finally resolving his conflicts with the team. Dom introduces his son to the family, and names him Brain, before celebrating the victory. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.